Hey guys, Thorblue here again, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. In the last episode, we got a little bat, the next root bag, and a heart piece, and we can now give you some fuse, people. You can see, if you notice, my rubies have gone up a bit. It's because I've just been um, grinding, trying to get see if I have enough to grab the, bow and, the boomerang, which, again, is not needed for this level, and you don't use that at all too much in the game, but it's highly recommended you try getting. But at least get 20 rubies, that's what you need. Anyway, by the school here, hold the secret blah blah blah. We find another one of those stone obelisks. So every time you see one, go ahead and just talk to it. But anyway, we le also learn how to charge a sword or a spin attack. And we are off to the mountain, but first, this guy will usually charge at you. And it's always fun to kill him. We get a big ruby here, so let's just go ahead again. Whenever you find rubies, try grinding. Let's head down here. My god, a glowing platform. We cannot do anything with that yet. But as you can see here, there is a bombable, bombable wall there. So let's go ahead and place a bomb there to bomb it. Actually, I'm gonna need the bombs in there. Spin! And we're gonna need our shield again. Because. BAM! Go ahead and just attack the uh, business shrub. And this is the one you want to talk to because... Okay, you got me! Let me make it up to ya! You can have the most deluxe of all balls for only 20 rubies, so what do you say? Sure! We got our first empty bottle! You can store all sorts of things with it, thanks a lot! And that's all you're gonna get from him. So with the empty bottle, we are going to need some water. Yes, this is one of the Zelda games where you can pick up water. Not all the Zelda games allow you to pick up water with the empty bottles, but we shall do. And I'm just gonna see nothing here. Now, any kind. Of, there's no special water like spring water here, so let's just go ahead and grab some water. And let's quickly go up here. We can't do anything there yet, so let's just go in this way. Mount Colonel's base. As you can see, this notice how these vines are grown when they're with water. And we get easy 20 rubies there. So, we are a nice empty uh, water bucket. We just pour some right here and watch it grow. Keep that mechanic in mind. And while we're doing this, we will bomb this wall here. Explode. And we'll find another business shrub. I love my quick shield reaction for more bombs, we'll need that. Okay, this guy will just tell you that a friend of him's a friend of his is in the cave that has a bottle. Basically it's just so that you know what you're doing. But anyway, we'll just keep climbing up and we're already getting a good start so far. We can see some green water there. Keep note we need to get some of those. And these are some new monsters. I don't know the names. I call them the jumping ones. Anyway, let's see what the sign says here. Dangerous, no climbing. So you can see rocks will be falling all over us. And we have another cave we can explore. So let's just go ahead and bomb that cave there. And I believe that is a fairy cave, which will keep which is useful. We will keep that in mind. Look. Yes, it's fairy and oh 15 rubies. And if I could get the 300 rubies that are needed to get these are spikes. In order to destroy these, you can just suck up, suck your, use your sucker up bar. Again, you can't kill these guys. Oh, there's two hits with a sword. They're not that bad, bad guys. Just keep in note that you will need to suck some of these thingies. Uh, again, a lot of things. If I don't know the names for it, I will put them in the. Uh, video like a side like a little note So let's just go ahead this way And a thing you might know is that when this is a frequent thing in Zelda games when you hit the wall or when you charge like this That means this wall is solid, but when you do this That means that there is a bombable, bombable wall there So let's go ahead and place a bomb there and gosh we should need a bottle here Catching air going into here we find some red to choose. These guys are a bit stronger than the green ones, but they're nothing of a danger. And we'll get oh, we're gonna need to bomb this spot here. Make sure you stay until the bomb actually blows up, or else 
when you if you shrink down it will not do anything and we got a new shrinking portal let's go ahead and shrink down with the new latest portal designs of a rock pedestal leaving us nice bouncing jello crystals so this perfectly normal looking sound was Another portal to the Mesh World! I suppose I would have remembered it if I had stopped and think about it. Let's go ahead and grab the green water, because foreshadow we will need that. Again, we got some more bull bullseyes, guys. There, again, no danger at all for you. Should be no danger or threat here. Careful the rocks falling down, though. Those will be, and keep in mind, these are just little rocks. I'm just going to dodge these guys. Grab the green water I need. These are the hot springs water and take out my hot bar so I don't accidentally use them. That's all you need for. All that work for just a little water. It must be nice hot springs. Anyway, just grow back up and hop on down. So far so good, we're making a lot of progress in this map already. And let's see, there should be another bombable wall here. This is it here. That I believe is Part is something we actually have to do because in here is just a Deca business shrub that will sell you bombs yes he's just gonna sell you bombs and I don't need to talk to him that's just there in case you need bombs more bats I just call them bats and we got no red mushroom again remember this mechanic just pull and fling these bats are not really at all danger at all now we're getting a new enemy here these guys are called I am um, the description but basically you can only attack them where they are the back okay once you're pulled off their iron mask these guys are no trouble whatsoever you can attack them from behind if you ever get a chance to go up behind them or you throw a pot at them which I prefer throwing pots at them but again these guys are not that big of a deal just keep in mind there are many ways you can defeat them, like this! Quickly just try and find if I can find any rubies or hearts. So I got 100 rubies, that's excellent right there. Again, I'm trying to see if I could get the boomerang and I might just be grinding a lot for that. And we get to another new mechanic here. Hmm, hmm, ah, of course, how silly me. Hey boy, jump into that vortex over there for me, I think I got an idea. First I'm just gonna attack this guy. Get my shield and watch weapons when you... I need that heart actually. Jump in the vortex! Your hat becomes a parachute! Which will actually sink over time, but... Jump into the air and voila! You're able to parachute weights down from around. Parachute your weights down from around, bleh! And let's go ahead here. We are going to need a suction jar. And as you can see here, there's a little seed. So we'll just suck up as much as we can. Oh! We opened up a Minish house there. Just suction up this area here. And we're gonna have to suction up a lot of this here to reveal... What? Who's that hiding? A pedestal. Let's go and shrink down to the size of a Minish and let's see what we have here. I believe we need to go down here. Talk to this guy. Why are like the Capri beans? So he's basically saying how the green beans need hot spring water while the blue beans need regular water and we got another keystone piece. That's what they will look like. Every time you collect them, which you can find them in the grass, you will pause and have that animation there. I think it's annoying, but it's okay. Go ahead and climb up here. Now be careful here. This uh, shows mechanics of able to fall down. Whoopie doo. Hate those guys there. So let's just try this while falling down. We can't obviously jump. We got needles, so what I like to do is just hold your sword and you can walk nice and evenly. This should be another kidney stone piece. There are three kinds of kidney stone piece pieces. Green, blue, and red. Green's the most common. Blue are basically, you know, rare. And red's like extremely ultra, super awesome, chocolate coated rare. Ah! So then again, that's all we have to do. We now have to grab that seed and move it. And of course, seeds aren't that heavy for, I guess, Link to carry them. At least that's what I think. Again, these guys are not much of a threat. Just uh, attack me with swords. But unlike, unlike me, don't fail. 
and we find a C we can just boom, look up and throw if you want to. I didn't really, well, thinking seeds aren't that heavy, and I guess you can pick them up as a managed form. And then we just have to carry it all the way back to that little hole we saw. But what I like to do is make Link fall down there and be trapped forever. That's it. And, um, I gotta see what's down the other path, because we didn't go in that other path that was down there. Let me see if there's anything important down there. I don't, I think there's nothing you could do down there, but I'll stay corrected. Nope, there's nothing you can do because only it, it just shows you a hole. That is, well, it's bombable. It's a bombable hole. Let's see what's down there. Shield. Oh, it's a oh heart piece that we can blow up. Wow, I forgot about this. So we're gonna get the next heart piece. You gotta be so hard! And we're in the chest here. We got a kidney stone and 50 rubies! Now that was a worth well a secret that I had to show you guys. That was well worth. I completely forgot about that there. It's cause um I realized I forgot that was not much of importance. But again, I'm trying to get you all the pieces of hearts and we want to get as much rubies as we can, so. Without messing this up here, we are going to pour water on the plant, allowing it to grow and climb up the beanstalk. Beanstalk. Now we're at Mount Crandall, and I think I will probably end this episode right here with Mount Crandall Wall and Mount Mine. So next time we are going to actually make, hopefully, make it all the way to the dungeon, or at least to the Minish Village that we have to find. Anyway, this has been Sir Blue, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!